Mmm. Oh yeah, lip lube. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. The match continues. And hopefully we'll be able to keep our lead to the end. Hopefully. Because if not, well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the last part. <laughs> <laughs> because that's, that would technically be a part of an unsuccessful run, and that would be something, because there's so much of it that I would end up cutting out, and, well, I guess I would just end up restarting the entire parts from the very beginning. I don't know. Maybe. Might be. But I don't think it's going to come to that. I think we are going to end up being the victor, and they are going to go home sulking. <laughs> that's, that's how I see things going. Mm, the ball just keeps on going on that fairway, and um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't really know what he's going for there, but uh, okay. <laughs> and anyway, it's my—I mean, nah, excuse me—it's it's his shot and then my chip or putt. So this could very well be another point then, because I could chip it in or put it in. Uh, well, maybe not from such a distance away. Wow! Oh, it even plugged! <laughs> uh, how is this angle? Oof. How is that angle? That's better. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do something if I'm gonna chip it in. Gotta do it lower. Eh. Eh, so finicky. His the cursor and 3D screen. Just trying to get it right on... Target. It's got to be a little bit left, but not too much left because the wind is only going a bit to the right. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be fiddling with it all day. And... Oh! <laughs> that was pretty good judgment, I would say. But a little, little too hard. <laughs> That's good, too. But... Good is not good enough for a point. It's gotta be great. Gotta get those birdies. And yeah, if I would've chipped that one in, that would've been another point, but... Ooh, I got I got the shot to the green. Yeah! <laughs> if I have the shot, then that means we have potential of getting really close. So, here we go. I'm gonna super backspin it and everything, because it's gonna hit into the downslope or the mound or anything like that, so I just wanna control it as best I can. There we go. How do you like those apples? <laughs> See, it's it's a whole lot different when I'm in control as opposed to when Neil is in control, as you've seen with the shots, and that I don't flub up shots that often. <laughs> so, oh, that's scary for them, because if Neil makes the putts, and they don't ship it in, that's another point for us. Uh, it looks like it's really good. Ooh. <laughs> Just stopped a little bit short as the break kind of weakened there. Because as you've seen, the, the bowl design of the green there, ooh. The bowl design of the green there just keeps making the ball roll. Well, kind of like fast fairway in a way. <laughs> but the thing about it is that you can use that to your advantage. And uh, uh, they did right there. But generally, I avoid doing that sort of thing because it's kind of hard to predict. At least IMO. And anyway, I'm going to try and hit over everything. Ooh. Ooh, I buried it somehow. How did that... I don't even understand how that happened. I mean, I hit a driver and I buried it. Did it, like, hit into the, the lip of the bunker or something like that? And just... <laughs> Or something like that? I don't know. Hmm. Well, we'll see how this turns out. And if we lose a point, we lose a point. And, and, and... We may lose a point. <laughs> Based on that shot. It looks pretty good. Yeah, that's gonna be a birdie. But, uh, Neil, because I buried it somehow, I don't even understand how that happened, probably will not be able to make the green. Yeah. See look, see how much it knocks down the, uh, the power gauge here? It's, burying it that much is basically like Heath. <laughs> so, best of luck if you get in that situation. Uh, I'm gonna go for the chip in, though, of course, because I've got nothing to lose. Uh, that's a lot of wind. A lot of wind, I say. 
And I'm just gonna let it roll out, do its own thing. And nope, I didn't play enough wind. <laughs> But yeah, as I was saying, that's a lot of wind, and I, I kept moving it, it still wasn't enough, but a par. But yep, yeah, sure enough, birdies win. <laughs> a lot of the times. And they're back to two down, not very worried though, uh, considering that they have more opportunities to flub than we do, I think. <laughs> I mean, even if I get in bad position due to Neil, you know, I always have that... Whoa, that's... Well, actually, that turned out well. <laughs> I was gonna say that uh, the, the thing about it is that if I am in bad position, I can often recover better than what a computer can do. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna just try and get between the Heath and the Bunker. Hopefully, maybe, see that regular patch of fairway there? Yeah, that's where I wanted to land it. That's perfect. <laughs> uh, so, see, that's not a good position because of those trees. You're gonna have to do some... Yeah, you're just pitching out to the side there. I don't know if I would've hit out that short. Like, maybe I would've hit more... more to the left, maybe more towards those two trees closest to north of the screen, but... Well, that's how they played it. <laughs> just played it off the bump, I guess. And... Now that's going to put them in a really bad position because they're basically laying two where we are laying one. <laughs> oh no, not the cross of Heath, okay. Uh, the D-pad of Heath, but yeah, when you land, I mean, when you're about the same distance as someone in one more stroke, that's, that's not a very good position to be in. But I guess they have a chance because they have a high drive distance and stuff and stuff. Uh, that tree in front of the green, I, I guess maybe I would have had to play it that way as well. I'm not sure. What I am sure about, though, is that we are probably going to get a point here. <laughs> so, okay, I said probably and not sure, but you get what I'm saying here. I think the, the odds are really good. And notice how far right I played that one. Ooh, that's not bad. Maybe I should have put backspin on that, but I didn't know because of the slopes there. I just kind of wanted to let it trickle over to the hole, but it trickled on a little bit too far. But yeah, I didn't want to backspin it off the green or in some sort of awkward position, especially with how much wind there was. So I'm just going to hope that Neil is going to make this, and yep, we got a point. <laughs> it is confirmed. We have a guaranteed point. Two to win. And... Can we do it? I think we can. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, I can actually hit over all that junk now with the increased drive distance, but I don't think that's a wise idea. I think I'm gonna try and get in between the two trees. I mean the the two. I mean the one tree and the the set of trees in front of that tree with a draw shot. Notice on the bottom right corner I changed it. Ooh, don't don't go in the bunker. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, that's about where I wanted it, except, you know, not on the slope. Just right through there, and it went a little too far. I think I'm underestimating the power of my character now. Ooh, Heath time. But since they're close, it might not matter. And Neil, however... Uh, uh, hmm. I think this will turn out good because of the fast fairway. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> okay. I don't know how one could end up that short on such a short shot, but what? Oh, that's even worse because now they're on this awkward slope, and yeah, um, you should have changed clubs there, kid. <laughs> yeah, remember I said that you gotta make your change clubs to make your loft lower for a shot like that. Yeah, that's it's not gonna work if you do it like that. Uh, so we have two shots to win here. I think I can manage that. Just a little bit of that and a little bit of backspin to make sure it stays close. And I think Neil can make that one. There's a good chance Neil will be able to make that one. <laughs> Alright, and yeah, he can make that one. <laughs> Alright, one to win, so we could win this hole, but it's unlikely knowing these two. In fact, they could kind of catch up with us, because this is doubles. <laughs> it's not like they're playing against me specifically. And I'm just going to try and control this with super backspin in the rain. 
And there we go. I was uh, I came a little closer than I was comfortable with there, but it, it turned out all right. Uh, hmm. Hmm. That's pretty well struck, I think. It's hitting off the, the mound, spin balling everywhere off the front slope into the mound. <laughs> uh, this is a really good opportunity for them. But uh, we shall see what we turn out with because we might just end up birding here. Or not. <laughs> okay, let's see if they birdie. Because yeah, they do have the potential to catch up pretty quick depending on how Neil plays and how they play. Mm, that might be on the green. That's gonna be on the green. Ooh! Ho, ho, ho. Okay, they've got their birdie. So that's what I mean about them. You can't really count them out entirely. So, going for the chipping. <laughs> so not gonna miss that. Here we go. A little top spin. Cause keep it rolling in the rain. And best of luck. Ah! Oh! <laughs> that pin is gonna lose all of its paint by balls knocking off of it. <laughs> uh oh. That's. I mean, that's just so close that it just. It's so sad. <laughs> uh, they got the point fair and square. <laughs> okay, severely uphill green par 3. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. That's a really good shot. Ooh, look at that. They're showing some bite. But if I birdie along with them here, it'll bring it to a dormy. And then they're in trouble. So here comes birdie attempt. Oh, double miss it. I oof. Hopefully my impact and control will make up for that, and it did to an extent. So I think this looks like it has potential to go in, yeah! <laughs> so we're going into Dormy, unless... Well, he missed his pup, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Nah, I didn't think so. <laughs> but of course! <laughs> Alright, so Dormy time. We're all the way over to hole 16. So yeah, I'm definitely glad that I split this up into two parts, because this... It's going on for a while, and that's not looking good. Ooh, that, they, that, they just... I felt for them there, because if that wasn't the Heath, it would have been over for them. Uh, anyway, I'm going to try and get somewhere safe. And I think I'm going to have to go past the Heath if I want to keep up with them. And since we're in Dormy anyway, I can afford to take some risks, because even if we lose a point this hole for, say, getting a par and they get a birdie, what could happen is that we end up... Oh, poopers. Yeah, we could end up um, just beating them or tying them on the next hole or the next hole after that. And Yeah, so they're, they're the ones in trouble here, not us. So it's just a matter of trying to end it off as quick as possible. But I think... Chances are they're gonna beat us this hole because they're in better position. We'll see, I guess. Ooh, don't, 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 don't. Oh, it did. Okay, they're not gonna beat us this hole. <laughs> I, I had hope in them. Uh, well, maybe they could. I mean, we're still we're still far enough away. The wind is high, and thus that means things could happen. That was pretty well struck. <laughs> this is not looking good for them. Well, maybe it is. That might have been a little too conservative on my, on my part. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure that I got on or you know, just really near the green bait, you know, somewhere on or at least on the fringe. So I aim for the chunkier portion somewhere around the hole there, so... Especially with the wind and stuff. Oh, no! Oh, they are just flubbing this hole up in every way imaginable while we are kind of in good position here. <laughs> and you better chip the sin gene. Nope. Nope. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to make that. <laughs> and here we go. Oh yeah, I've got it. <laughs> and there we go. Four up for the win. That was the closest match yet. 
I told you it's getting harder. I told you. Although, again, in my defense, it would have been a whole lot better <laughs> if it was, you know, just singles. Like, if I was playing Gene just normally one-on-one, -on -one, he wouldn't have stood a chance, just like Kid didn't stand a chance. Uh, I just wanted to level up both of them there, and... Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna increase the heights, because I notice that's going down. I'm gonna increase the power, because everything else is pretty high. And there we go. Gene has, of course, been added, because he beat him in match play. Well, doubles match play. No! No! We've lost in match play, too. Our Link's title, gone! And now our champ status, too. The Gene's doubles team has been robbed of all glory! And no better than when I started years ago. Well, I don't know about that. Although the kid just nodded. <laughs> kid, I mean, Gene will eventually get over his shock. But it will, may take some time. This can happen when you lose. Eh, he'll be fine. I mean, he came back before when he got whooped by me way back in Mario Golf on the Game Boy Color, so. Yep, yeah, he'll, he'll be good. <laughs> yeah, we, we did. I gotta admit that. <laughs> well, maybe not. I mean, you did. They did have the best team yet, so yeah. <sighs> this match is complete, and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next parts.